Hi and welcome back. I'm Jadi and hope you're doing well. We were writing a river ride, river raid in Rust. And we are starting to get pull requests. In the previous pull request, I managed them, accepted some of them, answered back some of them. But now I decided to... <coughs> Sorry, I have some problems with my throat. Then I decided to do the pull request on videos. It's more fun. Uh, I'm sure? No, I'm not sure. You may know what is a pull request. You may not know. I have my project being written here. I push it to the githubs. So there is a repo on the github, which is Jadi Jadi River Raid Rust. Someone wants to work on it. For example, Panos Chagias wants to work on it. He forks my project. If you go to the code, there is a fork button here. Not this one, but there is a button here which says fork. He forks this project in his own environment. So that will be Panos River Ride Rust, for example, River Raid. He has this, he clones this to his own computer, works on the code. When done, pushes back to his own repository. Then he creates a pull request for me. Pull request. Requests me to pull his changes. I will see it here. If I accept it, the code will be added to my repository. This is how workflow works on GitHub when people want to contribute to each other's projects. So, I had this. These were fun. I uh, merged some of them, but decided to go here and work live. Thanks for all the guys. Panos Chagias, Shayan, uh, Kohulatesen, Mehdi, Arvmore, he had very professional comments, Maltino, uh, Mitinol, and Sajjad Adine, and Hirot. I merged Hirot's code, but for got to do it correctly, pushed it with forced, and messed up Git. Git is difficult, and I'm not a... The merging projects, especially with lots of con conflict, is not my daily life, so... I'm not great in this, but who cares? You will see. So, let's start. The oldest one we have is pause option added, location structure added, hit function added. These are a lot. I'm sure I asked him to send a new one. And the good point is most of the guys, not most, some of the guys who are contributing are writing that they are also new to this, they are practicing it, they are new to Rust, they are new to GitHub, and everything. The problem with this one was there were eight commits. Uh, Siavosh had pushed for three different things in one PR. It's better to keep them uh, separated and make them atomic. So one PR for one task. Now he changed lots of things. Sorry for my poor GitHub skills. I tried to do these changes in three separated commits. So he says I have three separated commits. Still not great, but okay. I wanted three separated PRs. And he haven't have some anything else. So he has everything in one commit. So we'll go to the next one. Ah, here Kowalatasen says. Now game environment is colorized. This is very good. Later, I'm also planning to make colors. So the river will be blue probably. Here will be green, for example, or black. My boat will have a color and everything. But I'm not looking for a PR for this one, dear Kohulatasen. Thank you for your help. Uh, thanks. Works. But I will keep this to be done by myself on a video because I want to completely describe how these color things work. I want to show them. I just don't want to say, okay, someone has done this. This is the logic. This is the rational. So approve it. I want to show it completely. Please open an issue and ask if you are going to add new 
features which I have not asked about yet. Because if we do these things via PRs, viewers won't understand them much. Not the best, but good enough. I commented on this. Thank you, Kolata Sen. I'm sure you understood my point. Uh, if there, you want to add something to the whole program, a new feature, a huge change, it's in most of the projects. First, it's good to discuss it. Here you can discuss it in an issue, suggest that I want to do this, or in the comments or whatever. Uh, pull requests are mainly for things I ask for during the videos. For example, adding the location was a request. Second, it's for bug fixing and such. So this one. Added feature. After an enemy is hit by a bullet, it becomes an X for one frame. This is cool. From Cheyenne. 15SA. Okay, on another thread, I asked him to separate this and he's done. Panos Chagias, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly, hopefully, said, I like this feature very much. It makes a gameplay way better. I have a question. How can you do this? And Cheyenne says, first of all, I'm a total noob too. This is the best thing we are learning. I haven't written much Rust code. But here what I think it might do. We will check the code. Okay, if I want to merge this, I can merge it directly. But since this is an important project for the history of the humankind, we will try it here. Uh, Z River git checkout. These are from the previous ones I was merging. Git checkout main. I believe. So when I want to do this manually, he has this. Cool. Git branch dash D. Let's delete this one first. Okay. Now I will check out. Oh, uh, this is the main steps I'm doing. As I told you, I have my project here in my environment. Someone forks it in their own environment. They put, cloned it on their machine, worked on it, created a branch or not, pushed back, created a PR for me. So what I'm doing now, I'm, I have cloned this on my own machine. So this is my machine and I have this code. What they have, what I'm doing to do, going to do, is checking out a branch here with their name. Then I will pull their changes because I'm pulling from Cheyenne's space. So I'm pulling the pull request he've sent me. I will check them. If they are correct, I will check out my main. I will merge whatever I have there in my main and then merge it. So I will check out main and merge it and then push the code back to the repository so we will have these changes. Very straightforward. Sometimes very problematic. You have to read what is written there, every command you issue. So we will pull changes from Cheyenne. I will make the fonts a little bit larger. Okay, we have this. No conflict, so very easy. I will have to just run it and see how it works. Cargo run. Ah, this makes problem in the... Give me something so I can kill. Ah, see, it's nice. <laughs> Thank you, Cheyenne. This is beautiful. Uh, what is done? Let's check here. I can also check here. I can say uh, git diff, give me the diff of this with the head, no? With the main. And this is the changes which are done. Huh? We can try here. It's easier. It says it has added some enemy status, live, dead body, and dead. Could have been dying. 
Then they have this. Status is enemy status. Added this to the enemy. So now I know what is the status of my enemy. For sure, when we start, we set the status to something. Should happen somewhere. Oh, okay, now we have the status. We are getting it here. So we have to say, see where, when we are creating it. When the word happens, something in word changes. Okay. Here I was normally showing my enemies. Now he says, for go through all the enemies, we had this, match the status of that specific enemy. If it's enemy alive, do what I was doing here. Just show it. Right? If the status is dead body, go there and show an X there. And if it's dead, remove it. Nice. So I'm going through all the enemies. If I see an enemy, I will show it. If I see an enemy with status of dead body, uh, I will show an X and then we'll change the status to dead. So the next time, next frame, which is running, uh, this will happen. The enemy status is dead, so I will remove that one. Nice and uh, working fine. Here, what is this? If match word index is alive. Ah, okay. Here is where I'm hitting the enemy with my bullet. It says if status is alive and is hit, change the status to dead. Shouldn't it be this be dead body? Ah, so it's not here. Let's see a little bit more of this. Ah, check enemy hit something. Okay, if enemy hits me, I'm dead. Player is dead. Okay, that was player. Here is when my bullet hits enemy. When my bullet hits enemy, enemy is dead body. And then when creating a new enemy, its enemy status is alive. Cool. Okay. We will accept this. So back to conversation. I was merging manually. Although now I can easily merge here. But I was doing this. It's more fun to do this. The change was good. So I will check out to the main. And then we'll say merge whatever Cheyenne has done to the main and push it. The nice thing about GitHub is as soon as I push this, this will change. GitHub will see it and says, okay, this is merged. Thank you, Cheyenne. Next one, add location struct and replace all L and C fields with blah, blah. For sure, there will be a... Uh, problems because we have a very small code base and everyone is touching different places. So now Cheyenne has changed something somewhere that Mehdi's uh, contribution conflicts with that. I have to check these manually. That's the one reason why it's better to distribute different subroutines to different files that would be cleaner or modules or ah, however you work. Okay, we will go with the command line approach. It says if you want to do command line, same thing. First, check out this. Then, pull the changes uh, Mehdi Vakili has done. There are some issues. This is important. Conflicts. They cannot be added automatically. It says resolve all conflicts manually. 
check one by one. If you want, git add conflicted files, then say, okay, now please continue. We have three conflicting things here. Let's start and see what will go on. Ah, uh, I don't have the code. I'm experimenting with the Z, but I won't use it at the moment. It's a new IDE or uh, programming editor. So here, this will show me the conflicts very, very clear. See, it says here you have a conflict. This was the head. This is what I had. So I will keep this one. So I will accept the incoming change. Accept incoming change. Ah, no, the problem is it's mixing everything with each other. Because we had one struct location here. Then I have to have this. Then we have to have this enemy. Oh, it's always difficult to do these things. I'm putting my captain's hat away, wearing a casual cat hat because it's a casual thing. Slow, slow, we will go forward. What I'm confused about is why we have a struct location here. So this should be our location. Let's check also his specific code. Let's accept both changes. This will make it a cleaner. But where is our location? Okay, this is it. It was very strange one. Okay, enemy has a location, doesn't has this, doesn't have this. Right? Yes. And also here. This is it. Practically, I'm writing it myself. Okay, also enemy do have a location of type location. Hmm. This looks good. Something bad had happened here. Okay, and we have this location. But what is happening here? Suddenly, ugly things happen. Hmm. 
Okay, this was what we had. This is what we need. That's the only change. I will accept incoming change. So the newer one will be there. But here I will have location C. And here I will have location L. Okay. And here. Here also we need to call the I will accept both, so I will have both. But from here I have to change this. Here I say if word bullet location hit with margin word enemy location with this margin that's accepted right Right. Here, our friend is adding something beautiful. Hit with margin. If this hits this, if my location hits enemy's location with this margin. So this should be okay. Okay, bullets are counted with that. These are contented with I. So this looks acceptable. What else we have? Please note that we are not solving all the problems. We are just solving the resolve. The conflicts. Enemy. This is kind of a shortcut, but I'm writing it to make sure. The name enemy is defined multiple times. Okay. What about this one? Can you see an error here? Hmm. Okay, this is uh, this is checking this queue. We also have check with the location C and location L. Kind of good. We are not sure if this works or not, but let's try and go to the next step. I will try to merge everything first. Cargo run. Okay. 
Nice. So one step ahead. Now, uh, git status, as you can see, we have solved the first round of our conflict. I have to say, okay, this is solved. Go for the next one. For that one, I have to say git rebase continue. Next one. You must edit all merge conflicts. Needs merge. Okay. Git add source main. Now what? Next one. Okay, now we have this here. Check enemy status. Here we used to use the clearly using the hit like this, checking the location with the location of the Word player location. If it hits word look enemy location, it's a very nice, rust, beautiful code. But here we changed everything. So we have to accept incoming change. This one, the blue one, you can see it here, incoming. So I will accept incoming change. And I will check this if. Uh, okay, we had this. If it's live. And here we were checking if the hit had happened. I used to have word enemy index L equals word player L and it's C equals C. This is ugly. This is beautiful. I would say, and if this. If word player location hit with this, but here our friend had renamed this to index, which I don't like much, but okay. Because I and J are, are well known. But if you do this with index, J should be Gindex. And it's confused. So one fix here, also index here. Git, you can say cargo run, see if it runs. Ha, ah, nice. We are good in this. Okay, so now things are good. Let's go here and see what we have here. Git status, git add, this one, git rebase continue, git status. Now we are in a better position. Git log, condition for checking if the player hits on a live enemy. Removing unnecessary use, this is ugly. Ah, the problem is uh, he had lots of commits. This is why we say it's good to squash. If you are on an important or nice project, ours will be nice someday. But a better thing is uh, if you, if I have my code here, someone forks it in their own environment, pulls it on their own machine or clones it, works, returns back. And when they are sending the PR, if they have more than one commit in their PR, this will happen. And this is ugly. What they will ask you, they will ask you, please squash your commits into one. And you can go with git rebase dash squash and everything. You can search for it and squash all of these into one. So I would see only one change here. That would be much, much nicer. But anyway, this is our own project. We can do whatever we want. Okay, git status. Now we have this project. It's running correctly.
and everything is cool. So we can continue our PRs. I had this, now it's working. I can say, okay, thank you. Check out to the main. Then I can say merge whatever I have in this one, which I was working on, into the mer merge it into the main because I'm on main. Now it's done, but we had a conflict. Why? Uh, let's see. Did I add them? I cannot remember. Okay. Enemy status added. Ah, these are the fixes I did, I believe. <laughs> Accept the incoming. So we have the location, we have the enemy. Implementing the location. Then... Location doesn't have a status. Enemy has a status. Here... It's the enemy. Now enemy works like this. So I accept incoming changes. And here... The result. Let's solve this first. Okay, we'll accept incoming. Good enough. Next one, it seems we have to accept incoming. I'm sure I did something bad with Git. Okay, this version works fine. We can even start writing some tests. That would be a good option. Let me add it here. Uh, issues. Issues, new issue. Add tests. At least we can start adding tests and then ask people to add more tests if they are interested. So, uh, and here we had it. It's working fine. Git status it says, okay, I'm git merging. So I will git commit because conflicts are fixed. Because we have unmerged files pick them up in the work tree and then use git add okay i was thinking if anyway about the tests how tests can be done on the graphical gui that would be very nice if we have something that really checks something fun but we will start with a very normal test if the function works correctly and this kind of stuff ah sorry I get the status, what I did on the last one. Ah, okay, I added, so I can do a commit. Merging this one, now I'm on the main, I merged. So I can say git push, uh, sorry, push, yes, origin, main. This used to be master, but because of the woke, now it's main. So. We push this one. And this is 
merged. Okay, this one we answered. We will kindly close this pull request. And we have pause option added, location structure added, hit function added. Too much things again. Okay, sorry, Siavosh, but again, I have to ask you to close this. Send only one for pause. One feature and one improvement. Location, pause, and collision. Sorry, Siavosh. Partly it's because we have different people committing, so I'm accepting the simple ones. I mean the atomic ones. At test, pause does not work properly. We haven't don't have a pause yet. Sometime game panics. Use local structure instead of C and file. Okay. Close this issue. But in general, it's good to add N in your PR. For example, if you say fixes number six or closes number six, your PR will be linked to this issue. Thank you for watching. It was nice and it was fun and we have the latest version on the server now. And we will go for the next features, maybe colors first, maybe fuel first, maybe a way to show the score and this kind of stuff first. I think we need the score and the fuel in one go because we have to show the fuel somewhere. Let's see, have fun, thank you and tell your friends if you enjoyed them. Practice your own programming, change something here, even if you are not sending a PR. This is a very good method to practice things, even if you are practicing your uh, GitHub. Have fun.